got a little problem. All right, Miss Vivian, one more time. Dinner napkin. Dinner napkin mm -hmm. laid gently in the lap. Good. Elbows off the table. Don't slouch. Shrimp fork. Salad fork. Dinner fork. I definitely have the salad fork. The rest of the silverware is a little confusing. All right, if you get nervous, just count the times. Now, four times dinner fork. And sometimes there are three times the salad fork. Sometimes. Mr. Lewis, my grandfather believes the men who create a company should control its destiny. Where's the salad? Uh, the salad comes at the end of the meal. But that's the fork I knew. Let me uh, put it another way. Between your public statements and the rumors flying around on this thing, we find it very hard to figure out what your real intentions are. I don't know about you, but I've never been able to figure which goes with what. <laughs> you know, there was a time when we built ships the size of cities. Men like my grandfather made this country. Who ordered this? The gentleman did, ma'am. Bon appetit. These are escargot. It's French for snails. It's a delicacy. Try it. David? Mr. Lewis, if you were to get control, and I don't think you will, but if you did, what do you plan to do with the company? Break it up and sell off the pieces. I'm sure you understand I'm not thrilled at the idea of your turning 40 years of my work into your garage sale. At the price I'm paying for this stock, Mr. Morse, you are going to be a very rich man. I'm rich enough. I just want to head my shipyard. Slippery little suckers. It happens all the time. I met your father. What's his name? Carter. Yeah, Carter. Carter Lewis. He's not quite the bastard everybody says he is. No, I have the franchise on that. Does that make him proud? I doubt it. It doesn't really matter now. He passed away. I hadn't heard. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. Mr. Morse, you asked for this.